Hey guys, Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. In this video, I'm taking you through my Sunday reset and showing you everything that I did on this particular Sunday to prepare myself for the week. I show you how I pour a lot of self-love into me by showing you my shower routine and the things that I do. I even show you how I have been transforming my skin with this Teamy Green Tea Blend Detox Mask. Teamy are the sponsors of today's video. And this green tea mask specifically has been helping my skin because I suffer with bad allergies during this time of year. It is the worst for my skin. And this mask has totally transformed me. But I'll give you guys a little bit more information about that in the video. In the meantime, you can click the link down below in my description box and use the code brooklyn20 to save 20% off of your team me order but like i said again i'll talk to you guys about that later on in the video for now let's just jump right into the video because we're going to get into a few things So I call myself not wanting to go out to the grocery stores because I didn't want to leave the house today. I had so much to do, but that was a fail. I left the house anyway. Anyway, I Instacarted some groceries and they totally messed up my groceries. You guys know I am low carb, low fat. So things that were supposed to be fat free were not, but I didn't need full on groceries anyway. I just needed a couple of things to last me until I made it to Trader Joe's towards the end of the week but i did get a lot of produce because low carb <laughs> you guys know shirataki noodles are a staple in my home and like i said i got a lot of produce so bell peppers onions broccoli um, romaine lettuce jalapenos things of that sort i saw this low carb bread on the instacart site and it said six net carbs, 40 calories, but it's six net carbs for each slice. You guys, 12 for just regular bread. Mm, not worth it. Of course, I restocked on my favorite, the Oikos Triple Zero Yogurt. Greek yogurt, I love it. I got a couple of flavors. So yeah. I finally found the Starbucks Zero Calorie, Zero Sugar. I mean, not zero calorie, but zero sugar added um, creamer in the car in the flavor caramel macchiato. But just in case I don't like it and have an aftertaste, I had to get my staple, which is the Planet Oats Oat Milk Creamer. I rather oat milk creamer than anything. Now this does have sugar, but I've showed you in previous videos how I take it. I saw these and I thought it would be cool to get. I do drink energy drinks time to time. This was zero um, sugar and only five calories for the can. I got three different flavors. It's not the cleanest. It's not the cleanest. I'm not super clean right now, so it's okay. Um, and I also got two vitamin waters to try out. I wanted to see how I like them. And I gotta say, not bad. So, like I said, I just needed to restock certain things to make it to the week um as you can see i couldn't find the creamer anywhere so i do have the regular starbucks creamer in my fridge i don't always use it but sometimes that i do it's cool it's only 25 calories per serving and four carbs so i only do two tablespoons I 
As for the energy drinks, I'll show you the ones that I normally get. Um, it is called the Uptime. These are a lot better than the ice ones that I got. These are a lot cleaner, but they are expensive. And I got a shot within my budget. So let's talk, guys. Ever since I got my new fridge, I have been on the fence and basically just battling myself about doing like an organized Pinterest fridge with containers and everything like that. You guys, let me know, does any of you have one of those super organized fridge that's like Instagram, TikTok, and freaking Pinterest perfect? Um, can you guys let me know the pros and the cons? Honestly, recently I've been feeling like I need to buy bins. I need to do one of those fridge. And I don't know if it's because I'm seeing too many videos like that or if it's because I really do need to organize my fridge better. But this is what I have. Like I said, I did not need full groceries. I just needed groceries that would last me until towards the end of the week because I had enough stuff and I definitely had meats and things like that. You guys, can you let me know in the comment sections? What do you guys think about one of those type of organized fridge, please? Okay, so I am doing a complete total room makeover and this is the mess of my vanity. Okay, this is this is a horrible mess. This is two weeks of just not cleaning, tidying up, and just oh gosh. I have been super busy. So you know, sometimes it be like that. I'm not even gonna lie. Sometimes it be's like that. I'm not gonna show you the total process because I am simultaneously filming the video of my room transformation as i am filming this video and i just wanted to insert clips of it because that is exactly what i did that day i started my room transformation and organization um i just wanted to redecorate and clean my space for clean for spring cleaning i wanted to rid and basically just purge reorganize and refresh my space because obviously it's spring a new year and a new quarter in the year so i just wanted to refresh and clean and just spruce up everything so once i start a project it becomes like well especially like cleaning it becomes like a deep cleaning and so i started tossing and getting rid of everything everything and yeah as you guys can see that was so filthy and dirty but like i said this is a total separate video but i wanted to show you i literally started the process this day and cleaning out all of my makeup drawers all of my storage bins and everything like look how dirty it was from spilled makeup eyeshadow serums and just ugh, so disgusting and this was a really really big job and I cannot wait to show you guys what I'm doing, so stay tuned because you guys are getting a full detailed video. So hey guys, I just want to say if this is your first time coming across my channel, hey, I'm Brooklyn. My channel mainly focuses on my weight loss journey, but recently I've been transitioning into a whole entire glow up and I want to take you guys along the way with me. If you all don't mind, I will be including different type of videos on my channel as well as still documenting my battle with obesity. And yeah, this year is my year of discipline, my year of accountability. And so... I hope you guys enjoy the content that I will be putting out for you guys. So please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications if you enjoy what you see. So I'm just making some breakfast. I have these light McMuffins in my freezer and I just basically thawed it out and I'm making it. It's really low carb and well, it's lower carb, but it's very low in fat and calories. It's only 90 calories for one. And the carb on that, I believe, is about 14 carbs. I'm allotted 39 grams of carbs per day. And ultimately, I'm always underneath. I 
love making like McMuffins like that because in the pan because I feel like it seeps into it better. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather not toast it. I'd rather do it in the pan with the butter. To me, it seeps in so much better and it looks, I, I mean, it just, it just tastes so much better. So yeah, I use yogurt butter because it's low in fat and low in calories. It's only 45 calories for a whole entire tablespoon and it's only five grams of carbs for one whole entire tablespoon. So low in fat and carbs i mean so low in fat and calories i forgot to mention that i weigh and track my calories but you guys can learn more about that in my what i eat in a day videos I'm just going in with a laughing cow cheese wedge. Um, this is the lower in fat one, obviously, because I'm doing low carb and low fat. <laughs> I'm just gonna make some ranch eggs. I have been obsessed with ranch eggs and to just make it, it's simple. I season it with some salt, which I use pink Himalayan sea salt, some black pepper, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, and then I put ranch seasoning on it. It's so good, you guys. You guys have to try it, like, it's so good. I can't, I'm obsessed with ranch eggs, like obsessed. Yeah, there's my breakfast low in calories low in fat and low in carb and it is very filling especially because I make sure I take my fiber daily so I'm able to eat like this and still get full how good does that look it looks so good I want it again mmm I have a nice big old mug of coffee because you know we drink coffee over here all day. Every Well, not all day. I only have one cup of coffee a day. I'm going to be trying the Zero Sugar Starbucks Caramel Macchiato Creamer. And I got to say, it was not bad. It was not bad at all. So long story short. I went to Target and I went to Bed Bath and Beyond and yeah, I went to Target for one thing, one thing. That one thing turned into me being outside, spending money I don't have. <laughs> so excuse me looking horrible, okay? But she had to do what she had to do. She had to get stuff together and yeah, that's what I did. Um, Let me show you what I got. Let me show you the things I got and then after, I'm going to organize my makeup because um, I'm going through my makeup stash and then I'm going to do some skincare. Cause worst time of year for my skin. Worst time of year. Allergies. I hate spring. I hate spring because my skin look crazy during the spring. But let me show you what I got. You guys, like I said, I went to Target for one thing. I literally went to pick up the swifter mopping cloths <laughs> that was it and two bags later plus bed bath and beyond i also always pick these up because they're always such a good deal and i like the clean linen scent around the house because it just smells so good so clean so i also saw this and i liked the smell of this one so i got this one also these were like a dollar and a dollar and change for this one I got the Olay Cleansing and Nourishing Body Wash with Hyaluronic Acid and I kind of like opened it in the store because <laughs> I wanted to smell it so I popped the top but thank god I liked it because I took it. It smells so good. 
I also picked up the Olay Collagen Plus Firming and Hydrating Body Lotion. And so this has B3 and collagen. This is the firming. So it's said to um, help promote new skin turnover and firm. Plus we got, you guys know, collagen boost elasticity. I don't know why, but I bought the hand lotion, the smaller one to it for like hand lotion. So it says like hand and body. Um, Y'all know my hand be dry because I'm always on water. I'm always doing something. Plus I have eczema. And another lotion. You guys, I went crazy. I didn't open this one. I just actually just grabbed it. I didn't even try to smell it or anything like that. This is the Nourishing Body Lotion. Um, Olay, it's hyaluronic acid. Um, I'm excited to try these. If anyone have um, tried these yet, and um, yeah, can you guys let me know down below how you feel about them? Next, I got Dr. Teal's Body Lotion um, in Rejuvenating Ellipticus. Ellipticus? <laughs> I have the oil to this, like the hydrating bath oil and body oil. And when I tell you I'm obsessed with that oil, when I saw the lotion, I had to pick it up. And I got the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula, the Coconut and Hydrating Body Oil. So I've used this many times. This is actually a repurchase because I'm almost out of the one I have now. Um, and if you guys want like a detailed body and shower routine and body routine, let me know. I can do that for you guys. I'm adding a new scrub to my shower routine. This is the Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Scrub in Citrus and Essential Oils Vitamin C. I'll show you the scrub that I have now from Dr. Teal's that I really, really love. And a matter of fact, I'm going to use it today. Today is going to be a full scrub body care day. Oh, God, I can't wait. I cannot wait. And, yeah, lastly, I just got some elf wipes. <laughs> they were on sale. So I picked them up. Yeah, just some elf wipes. Oh, so while I'm here, I did get um two new perfumes. Um, This is Michael Kors Sexy Amber perfume. And this is a rather big size um i do like michael kors perfume so she probably thought i would like the scent she's normally spot on with perfumes for me one thing about my mom she knows me honey and that smells so 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 good so good so yeah i like it but this one right here the versace guys look at that Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. This is a baby. This is one of my all-time favorite Versace perfumes. Anytime I wear this. This is one of the perfumes that I wear that will have people stopping me. So, the guy that I'm dating right now, he was obsessed. Could not stop touching me, smelling me. Like, it was to the point where he was just taking big sniffs of me. And he's just like, what are you wearing? And I had this one. That's the big boy. Ooh, she thick, honey. Ooh, she got th This is the second biggest size. There's one bigger than this. Um, anyway, last week I was having a really, you know, I was having a bad day. Anxiety was high. My attitude was on 10. Just a really sucky day. And he was just like, you know, what could I do to make you feel better? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I have a bad attitude. Like, I'm super bratty and super spoiled. Anyway, I get a delivery the very next day and it's this i was floored now i don't know about you but the weight of my heart shoes bags perfume inconsistency so look what i found from bed bath and beyond <laughs> guess how much guess how much 19.99 and the thing is i seen a lot of people talk about this nice set being super sharp super good for the price so I saw it and grabbed it so I got a set of these two collapsible storage pins and I was hoping they will match um, the two that I just recently got for my room so um, they kind of I mean I don't know but they're just standard collapsible storage pins um, nothing special a decent size yeah. Okay, so while in there, I saw this cute dusty mauve or like dusty pink mauve bed set. And I'm not a pinky girl, but I love mauve or dusty rose. 
and um, I figured with the gray it's you know I'm showing you guys a sneak peek of what I'm about to transform my room into so it had this ugly um, sales sale sticker on it but um, yeah I picked it up because I felt it was perfect with my new uh, blinds that I ordered online but let me show you my blinds and these are the these are actually I said blinds curtains these are blackout curtains I got these online um how fitting <laughs> how fitting I'm excited and this is just my spring slash summer theme come fall I'm changing everything again but this theme for spring slash summer I'm keeping so that is the final sneak peek I'm showing you guys because like I said I am filming the video simultaneously as I filmed this one because I started the project today I started the project today so that's why I'm not showing you my background too much I'm trying to hide it as much as possible because I'm filming that video today and it's a week it's gonna take me about a week because of my schedule I can only do a little bit at a time but by the time I'm done you guys are gonna see everything <laughs> in the big reveal I'm so excited so I'm just gonna show you like a little bit of what I did like I said it is going to be a total separate video and yeah I just began organizing everything like throwing everything out organizing um so that when it's time to place everything i know what i'm going to do i had tons of pr boxes and a lot of ipsy pr boxes i wanted to go through all of them and restock my makeup and skincare because uh everything was like basically expired and stuff like that i tossed a lot but i do want to say in the actual video that you guys will get all of this footage I am doing a giveaway, so please stay tuned. It's going to be a big giveaway with three winners. I made three big bags of beauty products, and I cannot wait for you guys to win it. Okay, so all done um, with, I'm all done with just my skincare drawers. Um, this is not where everything is gonna be. I am fixing everything now so that when it's time for me to put everything in its place all I have to do is put everything in its place but I'm just organizing now like I said and I did my skincare drawer today and I also have this one right here this is an also another skincare drawer I should take that sticker off because it's ugly but all of this is temporary I don't even know if I want to keep this type of systeming but I don't want to invest too much in a place I don't spend on staying I don't plan on staying in any longer, but that's just a whole nother conversation. Anyway, okay, so here's my giveaway. I'm doing, I'm doing a giveaway. Three, okay? Three babies are going to win a bag, okay? Do you see how stuffed they are? They are freaking stuffed. I can't even close them. They are stuffed, okay? All three. Gosh, so I'm going to take a shower now because... I need to relax I need to eat and then I want to plan my meals for tomorrow and do some skincare and just turn this camera off and spend time with myself so yeah let's go do that. this is probably one of my favorite parts of the day is when I get to go into the shower and give myself love um, I'm not gonna show you a full routine but if you guys really really want to know my shower routine let me know and I can definitely do that video for you guys but I go in with my pre cleanse body wash which is like a glycolic um acid wash um to just strip and clean and then i do a bath oil body wash from locatine that i was trying out i've heard so much good things about it i absolutely love it so yeah i will be purchasing the full size um to this body wash and yes i use exfoliating gloves and my nails went right through them and this is my dr teal shea butter and almond i believe it's almond uh body scrub i'm obsessed i love it so much it's so good so moisturizing so cleansing i don't use that every single day because i don't exfoliate with scrubs every day but that day I did. My shower routine is always my time to water my garden. It is my time to do my visualizations. It is my time to basically cleanse myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Water is very healing and powerful, if you did not know. So when I'm in the shower, 
doing this to my body, taking care of myself, I tend to do a lot of visualizations and a lot of daydreaming. I am going to start the process of cleansing my face because I am going to be doing my skincare routine and I'm just using this Inkey cleanser, which is really good. I need to repurchase because I'm almost out. I was listening to music that day uh, because I knew that I would be filming this. So yeah, I'm just jamming. Don't make me go going in with my skincare. Here is the star of the show, which are today's sponsors, Timmy is sponsoring this video, so thank you so much. I'm going in with the Teamy Detox Mask, and let me tell you, this thing right here has been a life changer and a lifesaver. Allergy season has me looking crazy, and this mask has been helping my skin so much. What I love about the Teamy Green Tea Detox Mask, it's almost instant. I'm not hyping it up. It's not overhype, you guys. You need to get this, okay, because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, your skin don't look that bad, baby. I have been using this and it has flattened the texture. It has stripped my skin, especially in this nasty, nasty allergy season, sinus season, do you hear me? Right here, this right here, I can't say enough good things about it. At the bentonite clay, the matcha, and it, I mean, it, the aloe, the aloe soothes my skin and it literally makes it super soft, super, super soft. I can't, it's not hyped up. The girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. This is so good. This is so good. Try it, try it. How it works, it pulls all the impurities out of your skin due to the bentonite clay and the matcha, but it's so moisturizing because it has aloe in it. It All the ingredients are good for you, ingredients good for your skin. And when I tell you, I feel like the aloe in it is what helps my skin texture to calm down. Let me show you the video that I took for Instagram about a week later, and you can see the difference in my skin from this video that I shot a week prior to my Instagram video that went up that's more recent. My skin is a lot clearer. It's a lot calm. Click the link down below in the description box to save 20% off your Team Me order. Use the code BROOKLYN20. I promise you guys, they have amazing items, amazing skincare, and you guys will not regret it. I have been loving the products that I've been using so far, and I'm going to introduce you to some more products throughout the video because, yeah, their skincare is actually popping. Who oh, no. The link is down below in the description box. So make sure you use it. I'm going in with my body care while my mask sat on my face. And I'm just going in with my Dr. Teal's Eucalyptus body oil. And I like to do this immediately out the shower while my body is still damp. Because that is when you're supposed to put oils into your skin to seal it. And I decided to try the firming and nourishing lotion by Olay today. So it was my first time trying it. And I gotta say... I love it a lot. I'm using the Pop Beauty Body Beam Base, and this is literally a body highlighter. I always put on body highlighter. I don't care what time of day it is. I don't care if I'm not going outside. Whenever I shower, this is a daily. I always put body highlighter into my lotions and on my body because I love my reflective skin to just pop even more. One thing about me, my skin is super soft and just feel luscious. My deodorant is Tom's uh, Aluminum Free Natural Deodorant. I believe that's Powder Rose, I don't know. I decided to try the Michael Kors um, perfume to bed. I wear perfume to sleep, yes I do. And uh, it's a great way for me to try it on my pH, um, on my body to see how I really, really do like perfume. It smells really good and it works really well with my pH. So I was happy about that. Now, this one is not as long lasting as the other Michael Kors perfumes are. And you guys, look at the mask setting, but take a look at my nose. I wish I zoomed in. My nose, you see all those black spots? That's the impurities. It's disgusting. Oh my gosh. I wash my mask off and I'm going in with some toner. I'm going to apologize now. It was no more day. It was it was not daytime outside anymore. And I forgot to turn on my lights. So this part of the video is it's really dark. And I apologize. But I hope I'm giving you guys some feels. I'm going in with some lip gloss. I'm going to put on my essence. 
and then I'm going to start putting on my serums. I'm not going to keep this part super long because the lighting and the quality is not the best, but you guys get it. I did my skincare routine and just poured a lot of love into my skin and a lot of hydration into my skin because my skin was begging for it. Look at them dark circles. Girl, you got to do better at getting rest, drinking your water, and minding your business and that is how you bloom I'm pr i promise you i'm using the vita c serum from timmy which is another fave you guys absolutely amazing love this stuff but yeah after that i went in with some oils and that was really it that was my skincare routine for the night that's it <laughs> I'm ending the video off with my dinner because after this, I I pretty much just um, made my bed and chilled. But uh, I'm making one of my favorites, which is the sushi bowl that's been viral all over TikTok and Instagram. And let me tell you, I have this probably once a week. Like <laughs> literally once a week. I had some leftover salmon because I knew I wanted to make it. And it was seasoned to perfection. I just put it in the microwave and um, I started doing the uh, concoction basically for the salmon bowl, which is uh, the Asian chili sauce, some cute pie mayo, but I didn't have that. I used regular light mayo. And yeah, if you guys want a full detailed recipe on how I make my version of this, let me know. That's my cauliflower rice that I prepped earlier. And yeah, I'm just going to top it on top of it. And let me tell you something. Even the fact that it's not regular rice, it's cauliflower rice, it's still fire. I promise you guys. Oh my gosh, I could eat this again right now. Only thing I did different this time was I put some shrimp in mine too. Because I had shrimp. I seasoned it up, popped it in the air fryer. And yeah, like look, I got my avocado. I got my Asian chili sauce. And I'm putting a little bit more of the Asian seasoning on it. And then I put some uh, black garlic on there. I love black garlic. And it pairs so well with this dish. Oh my gosh. Some fresh scallions. And this is the seaweed that I'm eating with it. I really like this brand seaweed. It's so good. And it's literally half the pack. is only a couple of calories. Like, man, I forgot. Like 25 calories and one carb. <laughs> like, and you get a lot in one pack. And so, yeah, this was my dinner. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the new content that I'm bringing to you. And I hope it inspires you to water your garden and nurture your garden because you are important and self-love is the mo most important love. Make sure you guys check out Teamy. Like I said, all the information is down below in the description box. Thank you, Teamy, once again for sponsoring today's video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.